hello and welcome to the 20th episode of the quiz show this episode is very special because this is the virtual finale of season 1 of the quiz show we started with mumbai we did nine shows in mumbai then three in bangalore three in chennai we went to delhi with three and then we are here with uh, two shows in calcutta uh, we'll take a quick break come back with season 2 very soon uh, and yeah we'll keep coming on every sunday like we do but this is the uh, this is the end of the first season which we are doing at the beautiful city of kolkata we have nimisha from the last episode and we have two new challenges we'll just do a quick intro of the three of them we'll start with shrina shrina just give us a basic like what's up in life what do you do where are you from where you yeah. studied whatever hi i am shrinath i am from kolkata i currently work with rbl bank i am a manager in the corporate banking and free time i'd like to travel sports watch amazing give it up for uh, shrinath uh now we come to nimish nimish so we've met in the last episode uh, and now we come to siloni ah uh, yes um i am siloni sengupta i teach i am a teacher um with indus valley world school <laughs> okay cool shrinath nimisha siloni will have fun okay let's begin first question to shrinath shrinath this is an almost exhaustive list let's assume it is an exhaustive list just connect the following what do you think connects these quenya or kenya sindarin adunaik rohirik dwarvish entish black speech what do you think is the connect amongst the things you see on the screen yes i'll, I'll pass okay shrinath passes we go to nimisha uh, languages in africa not languages in africa going to siloni are we talking about um, about mixed languages uh no okay we'll start again with shrinath um so languages is a, a, is a good track okay all of these are languages now in your answer i'm just looking at an individual a certain person uh to make it even simpler these are all languages created by a certain person so what person do you think is behind the creation of black speech entish if you read it again dwarvish Rohirik, Adunaik, Sindar in Quenya. So your answer will be languages created by Dash. I just want that Dash now. Are the languages in Marvel? Not languages in Marvel movies. Going to Nimesha. I'll pass. Okay, passing to Siloni. No, I even I think I will pass. Ah, okay, cool. Okay, so this goes unanswered. Okay. Tolkien, of course. is black speech there is ent ent were those old trees and there's dwarves rohirik from rohan and riders of rohan and these are different languages created by j r r tolkien and yeah seen in the lord of the rings series and other works by tolkien okay so this goes un- unanswered which means the next direct will be shrinath shrinath this is for you your answer will be in the format of x of y basically The game X or Y was invented as a play on the concept of X. The goal is to link any actor to Y through no more than six connections, whereby two actors are connected if they have appeared in a movie or commercial together. On September 13, 2012, Google made it possible to search for any given actor's Y number through its search engine. Upon the arrival of the 4G mobile network in the UK. Why appears in several commercials for the E network in which he links himself to several well known celebrities and TV shows in the UK what are we talking about I'll pass you'll pass we will go to Nimisha I'll also pass okay we'll go to Siloni um six times removed I'm taking a guess I do not oh passing okay cool uh we'll take a hint and start again with uh, with shrinath okay so the um, the t- the now i'll give hint and we'll just try and get the actor's name if possible so the thing is called 6 degrees of uh y okay so uh and hence you know no more than six connections so degree was the first word like 
you know. So six degrees of Y. Y is an actor, is a Hollywood actor. Um, some of his famous movies would be Footloose back in 80s. And uh, he also had a part in A Few Good Men. Uh, okay, I'll give some very random clue. Uh, think of a continental breakfast. And one of the items in the breakfast shares its name with this actor. Okay. So two different clues. Six degrees of dash. That dash is an actor's name, a male actor. That actor has, amongst other movies, has done, yes, Srinath? A degree, so you mean to ask X of Y, and the degree of second word, is it part of X? No, so X is six degrees. X. That is done. We don't want it now. Now we only want Y. Y is an actor. Of freedom, but... Uh, I'll take a guess. Not Harrison Ford going to Nimisha? Pass. Okay, passing to Siloni. Six degrees of Freeman? Not Freeman. Kevin Bacon, yeah. Six degrees of Kevin Bacon, okay. Kevin Bacon and Bacon was the hint I was trying for. Uh, okay, this goes unanswered. Six degrees of Kevin Bacon. So basically you can go and trace anybody with anybody. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll start again with Srinath. Next direct will be Srinath's. Srinath, very visual and direct question, unlike the previous two. What is the significance of these logos? Just look at these six logos on your screen. There might be other logos also. Just tell me what are they trying to do with these logos? Just put funda kind of a question. Can mean a representation of something? Or is it really all of the logos are linked to some? Between the two, I would say the first uh, route might be better. First? Uh, what, was, what was the thing you said? Are they linked? No, no, no. I mean, I don't know. It's very... <laughs> I mean, how do you, def I don't want to confuse you by clarifying if they're linked to an entity. Take a guess, hmm. set theory. No, no, not set theory, going to Nimisha. So all of these uh, logos have been separated. They're hmm. supposed to be joined, but I don't know the significance. Like uh, in the complete logo, all the things are supposed to yeah, be joined sure. together. Huh, you're on very good track. I, I don't want to move away from you right now. So you are saying that the logos, Usually in the main logo that you see, they are separated. Sorry, they are together. They are joined, right? For example, they're joined. Like and they are separated. So what do you think they are trying to show? Probably the, if the company was dissolving, then... Ah, no, 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 no. Uh, going to Siloni. Eating arrangement? Uh, no, no. Oof. Okay. Uh, we'll start again with Srinath. Uh, so, Nimisha was actually on very good track. I almost thought she's going to give the answer. Because this is exactly what they are trying to do. They are trying to separate things. So, just think of the last few years and think what message are these brands trying to give through their logos. I'll guess maybe merger, demerger. Okay, no. Passing to Nimisha. Is it a social message or something which is being promoted? Yeah, sure, sure. Continue with that thought. You said, is this a social message that they are trying to go for? Yeah, yeah. Continue. Something related to unity? Uh, no, going to Saloni. Social distancing. Social distancing is what they are trying to go for. Okay, so this is, of course, uh, during the co COVID era, these are the brands who are trying to talk about social distancing through their logos. So like Nimisha said in the first round, uh, they are trying to separate these, so please. But Saloni gave us the exact answer. Uh, promoting social distancing during COVID-19, COVID okay? So all of these brands are trying to. First points on board, big round of applause for Saloni, seven points there. 
Okay, which means the next direct again will be to Srinath. Srinath Burger Singh, an Indian fast food chain, adds a zesty Indian fla fla flair to the traditional burger. The menu features creatively named items from Bollywood, such as Urta Punjab and Chunky Paneer Pandey burgers. <laughs> a vegetarian burger combo, labeled as two inseparable burgers, takes inspiration from the main characters of an iconic 1994 film. Just give me the name of the film or tell me the burger combo. If you know the film, then you know the combo. Or if you know the combo, you know the film. So just tell me the either the combo or the film. Is it uh, Karan Arjun? Not Karan Arjun. Going to Nimisha. I'm not sure, but Jai Viru. Jai Viru Burger. Not Jai Viru Burger. Going to Siloni. Is it Raj Simran? Not Raj Simran. Okay, we'll start again with Srinath. Okay, so the combo is... Uh, both are two male actors, okay? Uh, this is an iconic comedy film from mid-90s. Commercial flop, but became a cult classic over the years. Yeah, hmm. so the actors are Amir Khan and Salman Khan. Yeah, but either the movie or the combo. Okay, sorry, we'll have to pass. Uh, going to Nimisha. Andaz Apna Apna is the movie, mm -hmm. but I don't know the name of the, I forgot the name of the character. Okay, no problem. We'll, we'll go again. We'll see if, uh, okay, now to Siloni. It is Andaz Apna Apna. I haven't reacted, Abhita. Oh, okay, because I, th I have thought of Andaz uh, Apna Apna. Okay, any guesses on the combo? Paneer? Tikka, no, no. Masala. <laughs> the, com the combo is... <laughs> Sorry, sorry. No, no. The sorry, combo sorry. is named after the, like, oh, Jai Viru Rat Simran. Yeah. Yes, no, no, I, I, I can't quite recollect <laughs> okay, the names okay. of the Cool, character. cool. Amar Prem, yes. Okay. Uh, Amar Prem. Shakil se hi samaj gaya tha ki avara kism ke. Okay, this is Amar Prem. Um, but I'll give part point, points to Nimisha for Andaz Apna Apna. Uh, so, when it came to Nimisha, it was six point question. So, three, yeah. Three to Nimisha for this. Nimisha is also on scoreboard now. And this is Amar Prem. Amar actually used to play for Mohan Bagan, if you guys remember that was his Calcutta connection. Mohan Bagan ki team ka wicket keeper tha mein. Wicket keeper nahi, goal keeper. <laughs> okay, Nimisha gets three. Uh, which means the next direct will be to Saloni. Greg Rutherford is a British track and field athlete who specializes in long jump. In the 2012 Summer Olympics, on winning the gold jump in gold, huh? sorry, in the 2012 Summer Olympics, on winning the long jump in gold medal, Slate magazine wrote an article on, on him, which is shown on the right side. He also won the bronze in Rio Olympics. Now the article says, "Man who looks like Dash qualifies fourth in long jump." Now tell me the blank, Saloni. Now you can answer. Tintin. Yes, first ten points on board. It is uh, Tintin, okay? Man who looks like Tintin qualifies fourth in long jump. Okay, this is Tintin. Okay, 10 points to Saloni, which means the next direct will be to Srinath. Okay, Srinath, uh, this term is said to be a mix of two words. First half is X, which, is, which comes from a popular audio device from the early 2000s, where these programs were made popular by adding subscription service. And why? Which simply means distribution of content. Another debated origin can be from the words portable on demand or play on demand to avoid loose references to the X. Which term are we talking about? I'll take a guess for X. Yes. iPod. iPod? Uh, no, going to Nimisha. Podcast. Podcast, yes. Full 11 points there to Nimisha. It is podcast, okay? Podcast is a mix of two words, popular audio device, and then contribution of distribution of content, which is broadcast or etc. It's a casting. Portable on demand, play on demand, everything. It literally means POD, 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 podcast. 
uh, okay, next direct is to Saloni. So in the CEO of a company states that their products don't necessarily need to be washed very often because then the product loses its quality and most importantly, its color. He also says not to put them in a freezer to kill the bacteria or the smell, which has been a long debated method. The CEO does state the following techniques of keeping the products clean. First, instead of a full wash, do spot cleaning with a toothbrush and mild soap and second, wash the product while having a shower. Which product is this? I do not know the correct answer. I'll just say tutu skirt. Not tutu skirt. Going to Srinath. Is it Surfexel? Uh, wash? No, no. Going to Nimisha. A wig? Wig? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, we'll start again with Siloni. Okay. Uh, so the... Uh, this is one of those, like, uh, one of, okay, so first of all, don't think, don't overthink. It. This is one of the most commonly worn item in the world, okay? Now, the other thing is, it's very controversial as to whether to wash it or not, okay? Then the, the company that's supposed to be the pioneer of this product, that company CEO said that you don't have to wash it. This is one thing that people keep debating. Uh, yeah? Tie. Hmm? Tie? Tie. Uh, no, going to Srinath. Jeans. Jeans, yes. It is jeans, six points there to Srinath. We are talking about jeans, okay? And this is, of course, the CEO of Levi's, Levi Strauss, who said that jeans should not be washed, okay? Okay, now coming to um, Nimisha for the next direct. Nimisha, in 2012, Amala Ratna Zandile Dlamini chose her stage name XY. So this is her real name, but we know her as her stage name, XY. Now hints for X and Y. X came, up, came from a strain of marijuana that she felt sounded like a girl's name. And Y was a nod to her pet Y. She explained, I was heavily addicted to weed and weed culture. So when I began rapping, I thought of the word X and how it sounds like a girl's name. However, she has mentioned that she's not a fan of the name and the image it brings, saying in November 2021, my image was the pothead hippie girl and I'm not that. Who are we talking about? Cardi B? Not Cardi B, going to Siloni. Pass this guy. Okay, passing to Srina. I'll pass. Okay, passing. Uh, we'll start again with Nimisha, make it a five point question. So why is a very common pet? Okay. And <laughs> uh, yeah, so genuinely, then if you don't know, then you have not heard of the name. There's no point in me giving hints for X or telling you first alphabet, etc., etc. Uh, so, if if you know the pet, one of the most common pets, if that helps you get the answer, it's fine. Otherwise, it will be unanswered. No stress. We'll start with Nimisha. I'll pass. Okay, passing to Saloni. Um. Is the pet a kitten? Mm, okay, Kit we'll see. Going to Srinath once. Not Adele. Okay. Um, it remains unsound. So it doesn't make sense to give points for kitten genuinely. For this, the answer is Doja Cat. Cat? Doja Cat? Okay. <coughs> cat? So she had a pet cat and she named herself Cat. And Doja is uh, um, a strain of marijuana. Okay, so this remains unanswered. I doesn't make sense to give points for kitten. Uh, this was Nimisha's direct, no? Okay, so this will again be Nimisha's direct. Nimisha, tell me, what are we talking about? There are a bunch of things as to how this thing got a certain nickname. Okay, the first thing is Margaret Herrick, who, who was a librarian and president of the Dash, may have said she named it after her supposed Uncle X in 1921. So she named something, according to her, or according to people, she named something after her uncle. So uncle name was X, so she named it X. Second hint is Betty Davis claimed she named it in 1936 after her first husband, Herman X Nelson, of whom its rear end reminded her of. So the thing that we are talking about, that thing's rear end reminded Betty Davis of her first husband, so she gave that thing the name 
a certain name. Third person, third theory, columnist Sidney Skolsky wrote in his 1970 memoir that he came up with the term in 1934 under pressure for a deadline. So there was a deadline and they had to name something, so he was the guy who named it. Last clue, Bruce Davis, a former executive director of the Dash, credits Eleanor Lillebug, a secretary of the Dash, when it was first introduced for the nickname. So there are four theories of why something is called what it is called. What do you think we are talking about? Is it a newspaper? Hmm? Is it a newspaper? Not a newspaper. Going to Saloni. Oscars? Yes. Beautifully done. It is Oscar. <laughs> we are talking about why the Academy Award is called the Oscar and Margaret Herrick librarian and president of the academy may have said she named it after her uncle Oscar. Betty Davis said the trophy, the Oscar trophy, the rear end reminded her of her first husband called Herman Oscar Nelson and a couple of other theories. We are talking about Oscar, okay? the nickname Oscar for the trophy. Okay, that brings us to the end of the first half of the quiz. Let's take a quick look at the score. Srinath uh, on the back of six for jeans. Okay, so Srinath is on six. <laughs> Nimisha has three on um, Andad Apna Apna Funda and 11 for podcasts. Uh, Nimisha is on 14. And Saloni has seven on social distancing during COVID. Uh, ten more for uh, Tintin or Tantan as they would call it in, in Europe. And 11 for uh, the Oscar funda, uh, Saloni leading right now with 28 points. Okay, so 28, 14 and 6 will start the second round. The order will now change. Order will be Saloni, Nimisha and Srinath. First direct to Saloni. Okay, X is a specific type of watch that is used as a stopwatch combined with a display watch. Louis Monet invented the X in 1816 for use in tracking astronomical objects. They were also used heavily in artillery fire in the mid to late 1800s. More modern uses of X's involve aircraft piloting, auto racing, diving, and submarine maneuvering. However, since the 1980s, the term has also been applied to all digital watches that incorporate a stopwatch function. What word are we looking for? The only word that comes to my mind is chronometer. Mm, almost there. I'll give you a chance to improve. You're almost there. Not chronometer, but chrono. Okay, oh, no problem. We'll go. To, if, if somebody gives an improved answer, we'll see. Otherwise, we'll give you uh, bulk of the points and close this. Going to Nimisha. I'll pass. Okay, passing to Sheena. The chronograph. Chronograph is the answer we were looking for. Chronograph. Now this becomes tricky. <laughs> if they had an answer, it was an easier split. Um, okay, but Srinath got it. So Srinath does deserve bulk of the point, but Saloni said chrono. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so eight to Srinath uh, for chronograph, the exact answer, and four to Saloni for chrono almost being there. That's why I gave, gave her a chance to improve also. Okay, this is a split between Srinath and Saloni, which means I come back to Saloni for the next direct. Okay, this is a visual question plus bunch of things. This is, you see a painting on your screen right now. On March 2nd, 2013, some user called Funny Junk, no, uh, some user called Trolley Police uploaded this post, the one that you see on the right, which is called, that's a pretty good painting, right? That's a painting, and then it says, you just enjoyed one of Dash's artworks. Then the following day, Redditor Coldog22 reposted the image to r slash funny, where it gathered upwards of 1,000 points and 600 comments. From there, it became a meme, and individuals and pages alike started posting different artworks, like anime characters, video game screens, instead of the same, instead of the painting, but with the same caption. Just tell me the hidden name or the original artist of this painting? As if the name is uh, sort of anticlimactic. Name is like it's something interesting. You don't. Planter. No, going to Nimisha. 
Hitler? Yes. Beautiful. Oh, so good. It is Adolf Hitler. You, that's a pretty good painting, right? You just enjoyed one of Hitler's artworks. Okay. And of course, we know Hitler, aspiring painter, rejected by school in Vienna. And yeah. Okay. 25. Okay. 11 point there to Nimisha, which means the next question will be to Srinath. Okay. One of those extremely interesting, fun questions. This picture is called Times Square with dash on. Okay, just tell me, just fill in the blank. This is a photo of Times Square, New York. And the funny caption, the, this photo can be funnily titled Times Square with dash on. What do you think is on in this Times Square picture? Okay, just fill in the, fill in the blank. I'll, I'll take a guess. Yes. Lights. Uh, Times Square with lights on. No, going to Saloni. Blinders. Sorry. Blinders. Not blinders. Going to Nimisha. Camera. Uh, no. Okay. We'll start again with Srinath. So the hint here is, if this question wasn't there and I just asked you to visualize Times Square in your mind, okay? So the image of Times Square that comes to your mind, tell me what is removed from that image here and what do you need to switch on to remove that? Okay, are you, okay, I'll try and repeat. When I ask you to imagine Times Square, you will have an, a picture of Times Square in your mind. <laughs> remove the most prominent thing from that picture and. This is that picture. You've removed all the certain something from the picture. Now that dash is just a tool to remove dash. Okay. So what is on if, you know, hypothetically, if dash was on, this is how Times Square would look like. Is it making any sense? Okay, okay. Just ad blocker. Yes. Okay. Times Square with ad blocker on. Okay. <coughs> Five point there to Srinath. This is Times Square, normal Times Square. This is Times Square with ad blockers on. Okay. Okay. Srinath gets five for that. And we come to Saloni for the next direct. The OCO is an ESPN event designed to show off otherwise untelevised sports. It highlights unconventional competitions like the slippery stairs and the pillow fight championship. An unexpected standout captivated the audience's attention last year. Dedicated participants in this field demonstrated their skills in a 2.5 hour spectacle that garnered over 800,000 800, YouTube views. This event, now acknowledged as eSports, was sponsored by Microsoft adding an extra layer of intrigue to this unique showdown of intellect and strategy. What seemingly unassuming pursuit with a corporate connection took center stage in this surprising display of skill and strate strategic finesse? Excel. Yes, that is correct. It is MS Excel competition. Beautifully done. It's a competition on uh, who does MS Excel better. Very nice. 10 points there to... Saloni, and yeah, this guy, Andrew, won the 2023 Microsoft Excel World Champion. You didn't just succeed, you excelled. Wow, nobody thought of this uh, crazy wordplay. Microsoft innovating, as always. Okay, <laughs> now coming to Nimisha. Nimisha, a new residential project, part of the Cadence Master Plan community near Las Vegas, was in news for, for naming some of its streets after X characters. Andrea Miller, the individual responsible for the unique names, explained that naming new streets presents challenges as they can't sound similar to another street name. So she came up with this idea inspired by her children's love for a certain franchise and the hit 2016 mobile game based on X. Which franchise are we talking about? Pokemon. Yes, that is correct. Beautifully done. They named it after Pokemon characters. 
Okay. Pokemon is correct. Now we go to Srinath. Srinath, this um, X refers to the behavior of someone who wants to feel comfortable and do and eat whatever they want, not caring about trying to be clean, healthy or attractive or about pleasing or impressing other people. While usage of the term dates back to 2009 with varying definitions, the term went viral in the early 2022 and after being tweeted in a mocked up headline and was also Oxford word of the year 2022. So this answer is the Oxford word of the year for the year 2022. The popularity may be linked to a rejection of the perceived carefully curated lifestyles often presented by social media users. The trend has also been linked to a manner of coping with the effects of COVID-19 on society because it is described as a way of life that gives people permission to reject societal norms and embrace their basic instincts. What are we talking about? Is it uh, social distancing? Not social distancing, going to Saloni. I'll pass, I forgot. Okay, uh, going to Nimisha. Couch potato? Not couch potato. Good guess though. Similar, matlab, zone is uh, good. Okay, we'll start again with Srinath. So the an answer is dash mode. When you're in dash mode, mode is the second word, dash mode, you're, you basically don't want to do anything. Is it giving you any clue? The word starts with G. Okay. G. G for Garya Hut. <laughs> okay. G. I'll pass. Okay, Srinath passes, we go to Saloni. Crunch? Not crunch mode, going to Nimisha. Coast. Go. Not coast mode, goblin <laughs> mode, yes. Uh, this is goblin mode, okay. Okay, which means we come back to Srinath for the next direct. The first recorded official comic book convention took place in 1964 in New York City. Known as the New York Comic Con, it was held at the Workman Circle building. The person who bought the first ticket to this event is someone who we associate more with the fantasy genre rather than comic books. The person also considers Stanley as the greatest literary influence on them ahead of Shakespeare or Tolkien. Who are we talking about? We are, ask, we are looking for a person yes. who... Is a comic figure? Uh, no, we are looking at an author. Author of a Game of Thrones? Yes, if you can. George Martin? Yes! George R. R. Martin is correct. Well done. First 10 points to Srinath. It is George R. R. Martin. Okay, George R. R. Martin, we are talking about the first person, first official ticket buyer of Comic Con and consider Stanley as his greatest, ahead of Shakespeare or Tolkien, that was a big hint, uh, because his writing is a combination sort of of Shakespeare and Tolkien and uh, fantasy, uh, one of the biggest authors of our times, G. R. R. Martin, George R. R. Martin. Okay, which means now I come to Saloni for the next direct. Saloni, we are talking about a certain company now. Charles Stewart X is first person. Born sometime in 1877, died sometime in 1910. Okay, died young in 33 years of age. Uh, he was a British motorist, aviator, and dash manufacturer, who was one of the founders of this company. Company name is XY Limited. He was the first aviator to fly across the English Channel and back nonstop. X drove a 12 horsepower Panhard car in the 1000 miles trial of 1900, took part in many of the early long distance European classic races. In 1902, he became a motor dealer and in 1906 merged his firm with that of Sir Henry Y to form XY Limited. So your answer will be XY Limited. X died in a flying accident, the first British pilot to do so. Okay, another piece of sad trivia about him is that he was the first British pilot who died in a flying accident. That's why he died, died pretty young, died at the age of 33. Which company do you think we are talking about? So the combination of Charles Stewart X and Sir Henry Y uh, is name of a certain company. Why is Ford? Uh, no, going to Nimisha. Mercedes-Benz? 
not Mercedes Benz, but good guess. This is how the combo will be. Answer will be one, two names. Srinath? Is it Rolls Royce? It is Rolls Royce. Beautifully done. It is Rolls Royce. Okay, it is Rolls Royce. It is, of course, Charles Stewart Rolls, the first person to have flown across English Channel and back non stop, first British pilot to die in a flying accident, merged his company with Sir Henry Royce to form Rolls Royce. Okay, Rolls Royce. Guys, Mazay Mazay Mazay, this quiz has become crazy. Do you guys know the scores right now? Correct me if I'm wrong, anybody who's tracking. Right now, the scores are Saloni is on 42, Nimisha is on 35, and Srinath is on 41. <laughs> because Srinath was on 19, and they were on 35 and 42, and then Srinath has scored 22 in the last two questions. They haven't scored anything. So Srinath from 19 has moved to 41. Nimisha is on 35, and Saloni is on 42, and this is the last question. And this is Saloni's direct. Ah, wow! This quiz is crazy, guys! <laughs> okay, are you ready for climax of this quiz? This is a direct for Saloni with the scores 42, 35, 41. This is Saloni's direct. X is a southern Italian cheese traditionally made from Italian buffalo's milk by the pasta filata method. Fresh X is generally white, but when seasoned, it turns to a light yellow depending on the animal's diet. Due to its high moisture content, it is traditionally served the day after it is made. The name is the diminutive form of dash, which is to cut off, derived from the method of working. Okay? Just give me that dash. Wow. This quiz, last question, we don't know. All three are in the game. Like, I don't know what you have to do. It's not interesting. I'll because I cannot. I'll just say mozzarella. That is the winning answer. <laughs> it is mozzarella. Fantastic. Well deserved. Uh, Saloni. <laughs> wow, what a thriller. <laughs> it is mozzarella. And Saloni ends on 52. Well, Okay, now let's take a quick look at the score. The quiz obviously became insanely close. One of those rare quizzes where till the last question, all three were in the game. Max, what happens is two people are in the fray till the last question. Uh, Srinath had six in the first half, but he had a remarkably better second half. He actually, I think purely on second half, so he won the second half. Uh, eight for chronograph, five for uh, ad blockers, 10 for GRR Martin, and 12 for Rolls Royce. Srinath ends on 41. Nimisha had 14 in the first half, second half, 11 for Adolf Hitler and 10 for Pokemon. <laughs> what combo? Hitler and Pokemon. Uh, Nimisha ends on 35. Saloni had 28 in the first half, got 4 uh, for the chronometer part of chronograph, uh, 10 for um, MS Excel, and of course the winning answer, uh, 10 for mozzarella. Uh, Siloni ends on 52. Damn it. That brings us to the end of uh, the 20th episode and the second episode shot in Calcutta. End of the first season virtually before, I always forget, so before I end, big shout out to the team at Top Cat. Everybody, this is a beautiful venue. Uh, um, so and, and the crew that's helping us record so that it comes on YouTube uh, and yeah? Okay. Uh, so, one last thing. I have to gift something to the winner, and this time the winner is Saloni. So, two different people have won. Otherwise, in most cities, same person wins all three books. Um, okay. B disclaimer, all the books I'm giving in this series are books I bought as a student, which means all are pirated bad copies from road. These are just memory ke liye I'm giving, okay? I'm giving you one of the greatest, uh, another, the la in the last episode, I gave an Amartya Sen. Another son of this part of the world uh, is Sea of Poppies by Amitav Ghosh. I'm sure you have a copy. But this, please don't read from this copy. If you want to read, I'll give you another <laughs> book because it's just like a good pirated book, some pages might be missing. But this book, uh, legit, is one of the greatest books I ever ever read. And this is for you. So if you can come and just take this and post for camera, that will be great.
Yeah, that's it. Okay, I'll write a note and give it to you. Uh, thank you so much uh, to Nimisha. Uh, Nimisha, one-time champion, but played well. Uh, big round of applause for Srinath uh, for being in the fray till the last question. Uh, to Calcutta, thank you everyone. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.